Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part five of my Session Players course. In this video, we'll take a look at the Session Percussionist, one of the Session Drummers in Logic Pro 11. Session Percussionist is a great way to get auxiliary percussion into your song. Things like tambourine, shakers, maracas, kibasa, hand claps. And there are nine options you can pick from and you can turn them on or off individually to customize your patterns. This is also helpful because you can separate these auxiliary percussion elements from your main drum track or add them to a multi-track acoustic drum recording without having to use the same shaker and tambourine loops everyone else uses. Before we get started, I want to quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox. Boombox offers a cutting edge solution for file storage, sharing, and collaboration for bands, musicians, independent artists, producers, and engineers. You can upload audio files, stems, mix bounces, and complete DAW sessions, and then collaborators can be invited to your project who can then leave timestamped feedback and voice recordings on the tracks. Additionally, Boombox provides a comprehensive suite of collaborative tools. This includes Boombot AI, a virtual co-writer equipped with AI tools such as stem extraction and musical idea generation, share and promote your songs, beats, and samples using private or public playlists, create custom artist pages with your own branding, and leverage all of these tools to connect with new collaborators and clients. Head over to boombox.io today and sign up to get four gigabytes of free storage or upgrade to one of their pro or premium plans for expanded storage space and additional pro features. So what I'm gonna do with my drummer pattern for now is I'm gonna go under details and I'm gonna turn off the percussion here. And I've also gotten rid of that bass loop, so I'm no longer following that bass loop. Now let's say in the intro here, I wanna create a little four bar introduction. Uh, what you can do is you can just trim up the region and then hold option to duplicate it over. Now in this first one though, let's say I want to have way less intensity, less complex, and I also want to omit the snare. So this is sort of like an intro that's gonna have a fill at bar four that leads into the main beat at five. And the great thing about these session player regions is if you extend them out, it'll just continue the pattern on. Now let's duplicate this over at 13 here. And let's say at 13, we want a ride cymbal type pattern here. Now let's add a little bit more forward motion to the groove. Let's keep the time as well by adding a session percussionist. So I'll press option command N to create a new track, go to drummer, and then under drummer style, you can choose either a Latin pop or songwriter percussionist. I'm gonna go with the pop percussionist here, and then we'll just move that session player region over to bar 13. So this one gives you an option of nine different auxiliary percussion instruments grouped into threes. So we have like hand claps and bongos and congas down here. We have tambourine, we have shaker, we have kibasa, we have cowbell, we have woodblock and wind chimes. And you can pull in or out each one of these as you see fit. And you can choose different patterns as well. Once again, you can adjust the complexity and intensity. So you're gonna get more motion, more movement with the complexity pulled up and you can adjust the amount of fills you want and the fill complexity as well. So 
So I don't want all that. It's a little too complicated for me. And let's pull up the swing just a little bit on the 16th notes. And by the way, you can choose different presets here as well. These are not, you know, this, this is not the only preset you can choose from. There's a bunch of other ones here you can choose from as well. And then under details, you can adjust uh, the complexity range of each individual kit piece that the percussionist is playing. So we're only using three of them here, tambourine, shaker, and claps. And you can set the complexity of those three here. Like I maybe I want the claps to be really not very complex, the shaker to be pretty steady, and let's make the tambourine a little more complex. So this is just going to set a range between the most complex and least complex thing that this particular kit piece can do. And so these are all just ways to vary the pattern. And you can also apply even more variation here with the phrase variation. And so I believe what this will do is it sort of plays into this complexity range and uses more variation from that complexity range. And just like with the acoustic drummers, you can push or pull the feel. You can play more with the dynamics, play less with the dynamics. Let's pull up the dynamics a little bit. You can humanize it, and then you can also do half time or double time if you like. Let's go ahead and just pull out the hand claps. We'll just do tambourine. We'll keep the tambourine fairly simple, though. Let's see what that sounds like with the drum kit in. Now, what's cool about the studio percussionist as well is these have multi-channel kits as well. So if you click multi-channel kits, you'll see there's a studio plus, and this will essentially just swap this out for a track stack where you have individual uh, level control over each auxiliary percussion instrument. And what you'll find is there's a lot more instruments in here than what's actually in drummer. So you can add in additional notes here manually if you like. But really the only two we're using here are the tambourine and shaker studio. So what I can actually do is delete the rest of these other than those. And now if I want to have individual pan or volume control of each of these, maybe I want more tambourine. Maybe I want the tambourine to be center. Maybe I want the shaker to be more over to the left. I can make this stereo pan instead of balance. You can add whatever plugins you want. You can even swap out the samples in sampler or put some other instrument in here. So you have full control over your session percussionists as well. And there you go. That's how you can use the Session Percussionist Drummer Session Player Instrument in Logic Pro 11. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.